welcome back to my channel. It's Christy XO. I'm excited for today's video because we are going to be making a Halloween wreath and everything is from Dollar Tree except for this hat right here. I did pick up this hat at Michael's but I did have a coupon and it was already 30% off so I got it for about maybe two dollars if that. So just this is the only thing that didn't come from Dollar Tree but they do have some awesome ones like this at the 99 cent only store which are only a dollar so just to let you know unlike usual i'm going to go through everything that i'm going to be using so i also have this witch sign here and i'm more than likely going to paint it and i'll also be using these a little skeleton heads and i'll be using these eyeballs also from dollar tree and then I'm going to be using this wreath form. And this is a 14 inch. I'm also going to be using these flowers here and then these picks here. We'll also be using these witch hats here. As far as deco meshes, I will be using two purples and two blacks. As far as ribbon goes, I'll be using this ribbon here, which has the witch hats, which I thought is so pretty. And it has a little polka dots, just so cute. And I do go for a witch theme when it comes to decorating my home. And I have two of these ribbons here. So I have the bat and then I have this Harley Quinn ribbon, which reminds me of a clown always. I don't know why. So I did go ahead and pick up two of each. And the last but not least, I will be using this guy here. And you're also going to need some pipe cleaners. Let's go ahead and start putting our pipe cleaners on our wreath. When it comes to placing my pipe cleaners onto my wreath, what I do to make it super easy for me is I go ahead and I put a pipe cleaner here on this bar, 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 and here on this bar. So I put two on each side. So for me, this is the top and this is the bottom. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to take my pipe cleaner here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to place my first pipe cleaner. Give it about two little twists and I do go ahead and put them in between these two top wires, okay? So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go in through here. Make sure your pipe cleaners are even and then you're just gonna tie it down. And just like that, you have your two pipe cleaners on each end, okay? So you're gonna do that to each bar here. Once again, going in between these two bars here. Why do I do it like this? I don't know, just I like to make it super easy, as easy as possible, okay? Just like that, as you can see just like that. You can find these pipe cleaners at Dollar Tree. Now that we have all our pipe cleaners on, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting on my deco mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my deco mesh. I'm gonna lay them on top of each other, just like this. So the purple's on top of the black. It doesn't really matter which one's on top of what. So I'm also gonna go ahead and let these rolls fall onto the floor. It's the easiest way to do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pinch it here and I'm gonna leave a little tail just like this. And I'm gonna start here at the top. Just like that. And I'm gonna secure this in right there. You know, make sure you tie it pretty tight because you don't want your deco mesh to come out. All right, so now I am not gonna measure either. I'm just gonna eyeball this make sure that all my puffs kind of look the same size once again I want to make it super easy I don't want to make it extremely intricate where you have to measure everything out it's not that serious it's gonna look beautiful no matter what most of the time I like my wreaths to look extremely whimsical so we're gonna put a poof in each pipe cleaner okay and I'm more of a visual learner. <laughs> I could watch someone do something and I learn better that way. So I hope that's your case. So all I do is I gather the deco mesh just like this. It's on top of each other. And what I do is 
I just grab it like that, like, you know, I bunch it up and I poof it up like this. So like that. <laughs> Do you like that description? So I just poof it up like that. I make sure it's, you know, about the same size as the rest of my poofs, just eyeballing it. And then I go ahead and I secure it in. So you pinch, poof, and secure. <laughs> now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, now that all of my poofs are in each one of my pipe cleaners, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna leave a little tail. That way we can tuck that tail in um, later on, or now, however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting it here on the inside. So you just open one up, create a little tail, secure the tail down. Just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut a little tail, just a little one. Make sure you don't cut your pipe cleaners. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to pull the black and the purple deco mesh apart. You can intertwine which way I am, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna pull the black one this way. I'm gonna pull the back one that way. Just, you know, switch it up a little bit. Like that. No rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna do it just like that. Pull this one up. We'll take this one this way. So just like that. So pretty. I'm loving it already. Go ahead and I'm going to start cutting my ribbon. So you all know how I like to do my ribbon if you've been here before. I like to prep it, get it cut, get the ducktails cut. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start measuring out my ribbon and I'm going to measure all my ribbon out to 11 inches. What I like to do with my wreaths is I like to stick a piece of ribbon in each pipe cleaner. So we put six pipe cleaners on the top and six pipe cleaners on the bottom. So we're going to need a total of 12 pieces of each ribbon. So we're gonna need 12 pieces of this ribbon, 12 pieces of this ribbon, and 12 pieces of this ribbon. Okay, so I've cut up most of my ribbon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I ducktail. Super easy, you're gonna take your ribbon, you're gonna fold it in half, you're gonna match up each end you're gonna take it once again and you're gonna fold it just like that. And then you're going to take it here on the side that's closed. I mean, that's just how I do it. I've seen people do it other ways, but this is just what works best for me. And then there you go. You have your ducktails and it looks really pretty. So I have 12, 11 inches of this bat ribbon. And I just wanna say right now that this ribbon, the quality is bomb.com, okay? So they're stepping up their ribbon game. I'll tell you that for sure. And so I have 12 pieces of this ribbon here, 12 11 inch pieces. And then I have 12 11 inch pieces of this ribbon here. All of them, great quality. Don't have nothing to complain about. Take my ribbon. I'm not gonna go in a certain pattern. I'm gonna really alternate. So, you know, this one may be at the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pinch your ribbon just like that. You want to pinch it in the middle. Then I have this ribbon here. I'm going to crisscross it like that. Then I'm going to take this witch hat ribbon. I'm going to pinch it in the middle. And I'm going to put it right on top just like that. So it's going to create like a little star. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach all my ribbon into the top of the wreath first. And you wanna tug on it. You wanna make the pipe cleaner really tight. You don't want your ribbon to come out. So that's what it's looking like and I'm loving it so pretty so at the end i will go ahead and fluff everything out i will open the ribbon if one needs to get pulled down a little then i'll go ahead and do that 
but I'm gonna do that at the end because I'm going to be moving everything around and there's just no point in fluffing everything right now. Also, go right now to Dollar Tree and get all of your items because I don't want you to miss out on any of these items because if you wait till September, you're not gonna get any of this stuff. It's gonna be all picked over. You're not gonna find it. And I don't know how many times you guys have hit me up and you guys have told me like, they don't have any of that stuff. I can't find any of that. And I, you know, it's because you waited too long. So please do not wait, go now. As soon as you see this, go now. Okay, so here is my third little star ribbon. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and put one in each pipe cleaner on the top and the bottom. inside of my pipe cleaners every single pipe cleaner has three pieces of ribbon so now it's time for the fun part we're gonna go ahead and start decorating this guy here so what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is well first of all I'm gonna find the top um let me see I think this is cute like this so find your top and find your bottom. So here's my top. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna cut off the tag. And I'm gonna attach him in here some way or another. So I'm gonna take this pipe cleaner here and I'm gonna take this pipe cleaner around his neck so I can secure him onto the reed form. So I'm just gonna make a little section here in the back and I'm going to secure him down. I'm just twisting the pipe cleaners in the back. And now he is secured into the wreath. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this hat here. I'm gonna cut it off the stem. I'm going to need more of these. Like I said, I got this hat at Michael's. And I got it for about $2 after two coupons. So like, but you can find these at the 99 cent store, something similar. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take this hat and I'm gonna glue it to the top of her head. I'm gonna turn her, him, her to a girl. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue it just like that. It's gonna be so cute. All right, so. I'm just taking glue, loading it up, and I'm gonna take the hat, make sure it's facing the way I want it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick it on her head, I'm gonna hold it down until it dries. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wicked side, and here I have some craft paint. It's green, I have green, yellow, and black. And I only have like these neon colors, so I'm gonna make do with what I got. painted I really like the way it came out so I did go ahead and paint it and then after I was done painting it I went ahead and covered it with some Mod Podge 
So just to, you know, keep it safe from chipping or anything like that, because this will be on my door. So as you can see, I did the hat black and then I, the moon yellow, and then this wicked green. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take this sign and I'm going to be attaching it. How I'm going to attach it is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take these pipe cleaners that I attached my ribbon to, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, I want my sign kind of going to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pipe cleaners that I use for my ribbon, and I'm just gonna tie it down just like that. Then I'm gonna find one over here somewhere, just like that. Ooh, looks so cute. And to cover this, I'll probably just go ahead and put some ribbon in front of it. I'm gonna bring all my ribbon to the front. And I still haven't left anything. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these flowers and I'm gonna cut these off. So I'm gonna cut them at the base here, just like that. You get more bang for your buck. The flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and push these leaves to the top because I'm gonna be cutting I'm these. I'm gonna cut the flowers about here. I don't want them too long at all. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take these flowers and I'm just gonna start placing them wherever I see fit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down or tie them down. Not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. This flower here in the middle. I feel like I wanna glue his feet down cause they keep turning. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue his feet so they don't move. Just a little bit of glue will do the job. Now that I've placed my flowers where I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take these little heads and I'm going to be gluing these hats on top of them. Oh my gosh, so cute! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Just like that. I'm going to take my hat and I'm going to place it right on top. So now they're little witch, skeleton witches, which goes perfect with my decor because that's how I decorate with skulls and witches. So just like that, you have a little witch. I love her. I'm gonna do with these little guys here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to glue them here into the flowers, just like that. So it's gonna look like that. Spooky. I'm gonna put some glue here on the back of his head, just like that. And I'm gonna take my flower and I'm going to glue him right in the middle of the flower. Just like that. So cool. I love this. Isn't that so adorable? I love it. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add some of these just to make it, you know, airy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie these down into the pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna put one here. Just like that. Ooh, and I'm gonna add one over here on this side. Here. Ooh, pretty. I'm gonna go down here. Add one right here. Very whimsical. Okay, so I went ahead and I added these two hands here. All I did was I tied them into the pipe cleaners here, 
just one on this side and one on this side so they're kind of going over the wicked sign then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take these eyeballs which are so creepy and i'm just going to glue them here but first i'm going to open up my ribbon make sure my ribbon's going the right way all right So now that my ribbon is open just like that, the flower is completely open, I'm going to go ahead and add this eyeball. So I'm just going to put some glue directly onto this pipe cleaner. Just like that. Hold him down so he stays. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. Make sure all of my ribbon is open. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a huge dollop of glue here. Okay. I'm going to take this eyeball and I'm going to add it right there. And I did go ahead and leave his arms back. I didn't really like the way his arms look, so I left him towards the back. And that's why I brought in these hands. So it kind of looks like he's <laughs> coming in from the sides. And I'm really loving it. I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to load this up with glue. Just like that. Load it up. Load it up. And I'm just going to place it there like that. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to fluff out all of my ribbon. All right. So here she is. I love her. So I went ahead and I cut these little pieces that are up front a little shorter and I did cut these that are around the sign a little shorter and I did go ahead and, and I also went ahead and added a little bow right here around her neck and that's all I did and she is all done. I just love her. I'll give you a better shot right now on my door. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you were inspired. I hope you learned a little something, something. I hope I gave you a couple of ideas. And I really love the way this wreath came out. It goes perfect with my decor because I decorate with witch and skeletons. So it's going to look perfect on my front door. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give your girl a thumbs up. And until next time, exo till I overdose. Bye. Bye.